Hello and welcome to the President's Corner. I'm Dr. Paul Hutchins, President of Sampson Community College, and today I'm fortunate to have with me Mr. Perry Gillespie, a career counselor for us here at Sampson Community College. Perry, welcome. Good to have an opportunity to visit with Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Dr. Well, I'd like to start, Perry, by getting you to share with our audience a little bit about your academic and career background so they can kind of get a feel for what you've done that prepared you for this position at the college. Yes, sir. Um, I went to Campbell University um, when I graduated high school. To be, I thought I wanted to be a teacher that taught exceptional needs children, mm -hmm. but Campbell didn't have that program at the time, so they suggested that I take family studies and get a minor in child development, maybe go back and get my master's in exceptional needs children. So I said, I'll do that. I got into the program and I really liked it. I liked the um, aspect of working with families and children. I knew I didn't want to teach really small children, mm -hmm. but I wanted to impact them some way, maybe working with their families. So I finished my degree in that, and I worked for social service for a couple of years, and then I started teaching in the classroom. And I started teaching at Clinton High School Family and Consumer Sciences. And I was licensed seventh grade through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. And I taught parenting and child development and early childhood education one and two. And then my wife, who also taught at the college, I mean, excuse me, taught at um, Clinton High School, was teaching math there, and she wanted to make a move to the early college. And she said, let's go together. And I'm like, what am I going to teach there? Because they don't have an opening for family consumer science. Mm -hmm. And at that time, they had an opening for a professional development coordinator in the early childhood education department. And so I knew Susan Baxter a little bit because she would come and speak to my classes mm -hmm. about coming to the community college once they finished. So I called her out of the blue one day and said, you know, Miss Baxter, can you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for? And she told me she was just looking for someone that would work with the education of the child care providers in our county. And I said, that sounds good. So I was actually employ employed through the college, but it was a grant through a nonprofit, the Partnership for Children. Mm -hmm. And so I did that for about eight years, decided I was gonna go back and get my master's in sociology at Fevel State. And then my grant position ended and I started with the career counselor here. And so July, I will be at the college for 10 years. Excellent, now you've been a career counselor for the college for- Two years. Almost two almost years. Almost two now. years, yes sir, two Excellent. years in July. Well, now let's switch gears a little bit and get you to talk about your role as a career counselor and kind of talk about um, what that uh, opens up as far as opportunity for us to get the word out to students in our high schools here in yes, Sampson sir. County about Sampson Community College. Um, I get the privilege of going to all the high schools in the county. I work with the um, public schools with the Career and College Promise program. And career and college promise are um, classes that the students can take while they are still in high school, um, tuition free. And that's our big seller, you know, take college classes now where you only pay $6.35 for your student fee. And, and it's really good. They pay for the books, but um, part of my job as the counselor, the career counselors, I try to help them find books for cheaper prices or mm -hmm. help them borrow books or go to Amazon and places like that to rent books. Because sometimes the 635 for some of the students is, is hard to get, even that little amount is hard to get for them. So I like working with the students um, that are going to four-year schools, going to two-year schools, coming to Sampson. I get to do all that um, and help them the best, I think the best feeling is when I help someone who's never, is a first generation college student. Mm -hmm. Their parents never went to school. They think they're not going to school. And here's a chance for you to actually get your feet wet, take a college class, maybe earn a certificate in our CTE pathways. Um, so even if you don't go to college, you can finish a welding certificate, for example, become a welder once you graduate. And you don't have to just start out at a minimum wage job. Absolutely. Yes, now talk a little bit about your schedule. How, how does it work as far as the time at the different high schools, schools here in the county and maybe some of the activities that you do during a, a course of a day at, at one day. of the high schools? Sure. Yeah. Um, I start out my week at Lakewood High School um, in um, Roseboro. That's Mondays. Tuesdays I go to Clinton High School here in Clinton. Um, Wednesdays are Hopton High School um, near Newton Grove, Thursdays Union, um, and then Friday I go to Midway High School. And my typical day is I spend all day seeing students. Um, and it's not just with career and college promise classes, which I like, but they also have questions about admissions. A lot of them, especially this time of year, they're seniors, they're preparing to, what am I going to do next once I graduate high school? And they're asking questions about admissions to Sampson Community College, what programs that we offer, how do I pay for school? Do you offer scholarships? So um, I get to go through, and I have an office area in each of the schools. 
I bring a laptop, I set it up, and we just we'll, we'll go through the stuff. I'll bring them to our website. We'll walk through it step by step, show them what they need to do. If they need help with the emissions policy, um, the emissions application itself, I'll help them with that. Um, with my CCP students, we start from where are you going to go to school? What are you doing when you graduate? What do you want to take? These are what we have to offer. So currently, with my CCP students, I'm really registering for the summer session now. Um, hopefully, with once the s different schools register for their fall and spring, I'll start with the fall semester. Sir. Well, one of the things I think that's just tremendous here in Sampson County is um, the great partnership that we have with the Clinton City School System and the Sampson County School System. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, um, when we, Dr. Bill Starling and I had several conversations about what could we do uh, to um, enhance that partnership and provide opportunities for the students in the two school systems to take advantage of what we have here at Sampson Community College. And that's why we decided to create the uh, career counselor position. And then we went out uh, to each one of the high schools and met uh, after meeting with the two superintendents with each principal. And the support that we got from each one of those high schools was just tremendous. Yes, Definitely. Uh, providing you an office space yes, to meet privately with students, to be able to set up a table in the cafeteria oh, at yes, lunchtime, sir. to visit classes. And, and it, I think it's really been a great benefit, uh, not only to those students that have taken advantage of it, but I think it's been a great benefit uh, to the college and, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more in, yes, in just a few minutes. Yes, sir. We're going to pause now for just a few messages and we'll be back with more of the President's Corner in just a moment. If you need help paying for college or career school, the Office of Federal Student Aid might be your best option. We offer more than $150 billion to students each year in the form of grants, loans, and work-study funds. And federal student aid can be used to pay for school expenses, such as tuition, room and board, and books and supplies. After you've filled out the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, you'll receive an award letter from each school you list on your FAFSA. This letter explains both the federal and non-federal financial aid options that a school is offering you. So let's talk about federal aid. If you qualify for and receive a federal grant, you won't have to repay the money. That will definitely help offset the cost of school, but you may still need additional help. If so, a federal student loan might be your answer. Remember, a student loan is just like any other loan. It's borrowed money that will have to be repaid with interest. If you plan to take out a loan, consider federal student loans first. Compared to private student loans, federal student loans often have lower fixed interest rates and offer many benefits that you won't find otherwise. For example, when it's time for you to repay your federal student loan, your loan servicer can work with you to find the best repayment plan for your individual needs. Plus, you may be able to adjust your loan payments based on your income. You also may be able to defer your federal loan payments, deduct student loan interest on your taxes, and even consolidate your eligible federal student loans into one loan with one monthly payment. Federal loans can even be forgiven based on certain types of employment. Getting a work-study job is another great option to help pay for school. Eligible undergraduate and graduate students will be able to earn at least minimum wage. If you have questions or need assistance, you can contact the financial aid office at your college or career school or visit studentaid.gov for more information. Hello, I'm Paul Hutchins, President of Sampson Community College, and welcome back to this edition of the President's Corner. Today I'm visiting with Mr. Perry Gillespie, yes, the Career Counselor here at Sampson Community College. Perry, let me uh, now move to a little different uh, way of looking at uh, what you're doing in the high schools mm -hmm. and get you to talk about in the two years that you've been working as a mm -hmm. career counselor, what differences have you seen in Career and College Promise program? Uh, growth in the numbers or students being attracted to it. Just talk sure. a little bit about the changes you've All right. seen. When I first started, um, there was one or two classes that seemed like that was the only thing they would put students in, psychology and maybe in English or in math. And so to break them out of that cycle of there's other classes that we offer besides psychology, English, and math, and I've seen them just become interested in everything that we have to offer. They're seeing it as a way to, um, the ones that are going to a four-year college, they're seeing it as a way to get um, rid of all these basic 
college transfer level classes that they would take their first couple of years at the four-year school. I see it for those that are coming to the community college as a way to get a head start on their career and what um, programs they want to work with. And I really see the ones that do not see college as an option right now as a way for them to get something that they, a certificate that they actually can get a job, not have to work somewhere where they're making minimum wage and actually start out making a, a good amount of money for someone who has no real college experience. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's, it's definitely changed. And as for the number, we see a continuous growth so far in the number of CCP students that we have come into um, Sampson Community College. So I hope that that number will continue to grow. Um, I've heard from many of the schools that um, the classes that are coming up now, the sophomore classes, are some of the largest ones they've had in a few years. Excellent. So I'm hoping a lot of those that will now be juniors next year will take advantage of the program as well. Well, another program that we initiated here at the college during this academic year is the Gateway Program, where we're mm -hmm. trying to introduce to, uh, to parents and students in our high schools the, uh, the benefit of looking at enhancing career and college promise program opportunities mm -hmm and then spending at least a year with us here at Sampson Community College because it enhances those students' opportunity to go to that state yes, university sir. that they really want to go to. Yes, Can sir. you talk a little bit about how it uh, enhances that opportunity? Ms. Yes, um, Baxter, um, who heads up that program, what the end that I do with is when they come and speak with me, um, one of the questions on my application is, are you interested in the Gateway Program? And I'll talk to them, explain to them, and share with them information that Ms. Baxter has prepared about it. Mm -hmm. um, but it is such a great opportunity because the way she has the plan set up, it's really for students that qualify for the Associate of Art or Associate of Science pathways, which are your college transfer pathways. Mm -hmm. And she wants to start them their junior year and their senior year taking a set pathway that she has set for them. Um, getting a lot of those classes out of the way before they ever come to Samson for that one or two years or they plan to stay with us. Sure. But while they're doing that, she has little cohort meetings set up throughout the year where these, these students actually meet with other students that are taking the same pathway as them, that are using the Gateway program, and realize that they're not, in, not the only one in the boat. Mm -hmm. And so she not only meets with them, but she families are a big part of the program as well. She brings the families in and tells them about the program and helps them get involved in their child's education as well. Well, and the financial benefit oh, yes, of sir. that program is just tremendous. And I, and I hope more and more families will take a look at that because it really is a cost savings oh, yes, sir. For, for families of students that eventually want to go on and pursue a bachelor's degree yes, at one sir. of our state universities. Now, Perry, I want to change gears mm -hmm. for just a few minutes and get you to talk a little bit about the Career Coach uh, software program that's mm -hmm. available through the Samson Community College website. It's actually available to the public. You do not have to be a student at the college to go in and, and use those mm -hmm. resources. But tell the audience a little bit about Career Coach and perhaps how you're using it at our high schools mm -hmm. and in ACA classes here yes, at Samson Community College. Um, Career Coach is a great, um, like you said, software program. And basically what it does is it takes into effect what someone wants to do as a career, and then it aligns it with what we have here to offer at, at Samson Community College. And so there's a great interest profiler, for example, that they offer where you can actually go on there and, and it asks you, are you interested in this? Are you interested in that? And as you take that, it takes the information that you enter the questions and how you answer it and it provides you with a list of careers that it thinks that you would benefit from and then from there it'll link you to our program to our website and take you to the places that it needs to be like for that program mm -hmm. so you actually can see let's say for example it says that you would be a teacher it might take you to the education division and it will show you what programs and diplomas and degree options that it offers if you're a military and you enter your military um, the position that you were when you were in the military, it will link you up to careers out of the military mm. that you would, um, that, that would might interest you, that you might be very good at and things. I use it for students who have no idea what they want to do. Mm. I like this, I like that, I like this. Well, do you know what you want to do once you finish? Well, no, Mr. Gillespie, a little bit of all three things. And <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know if there's something that entails all three of those things. So we'll sit down, we'll do the interest profiler, um, to see what where their interest lies the most and then from there we try to go and find programs whether it's at Samson or they say I want to go to a four-year school mm -hmm. and then I say well here's some great classes that you can take at Samson that will get you started that you can transfer to this school 
and help you prepare for your career. Now in ACA, I teach that sometimes part-time when um, an extra instructor is needed. We use it for this very same way. We wanna, we're want we trying to catch the students as they come in the first semester that they're here and we do the interest profiler to see if they're in the right program. You know, they've mm -hmm. entered the program. Are you really want to be a nurse or you just want to be a nurse because you think they make a lot of money? And um, are, do you really want to be a welder or is, are you doing it because your mom or because your dad was a welder? Mm -hmm. And the career coach is a great way for us to do it and see that, yeah, maybe this is it, maybe this is not. And another thing I like about the career coach is it tells you what jobs are available in the area that you're seeking. And um, it'll tell you the minimum pay for it in our counties, how many people will retire in the next five years, how many positions that will leave available. It's just a, it's just a great software all the way around. Now, I know another component of Career Coach is a resume builder. Can you oh, talk yes. a little bit about that? Yes, sir. The, that, the resume builder with Career Coach is probably the easiest one I've ever seen. It asks you the questions, you type it in, and then it creates you a very professional resume at the end that you could use at any position that you're applying for. And again, this Career Coach program is available. The link to it is available at the Sampson Community College website. So people in the community that are wanting to brush their resume up can go in and use that career builder free of charge uh, and print out a really nice resume yes, sir, to help them in the job search process. Well, Perry, let me get you now to, to tell the audience a little bit about how, if they want more information about what you're doing as a career counselor mm -hmm. or career and college promise classes here at Samson Community College, how may they best get in touch, touch with, with you? Me. Um, since I'm at a different high school every day, um, the best way is to email me. Okay. And my email address is pgillespie, P-G-I-L-L-E-S-P-I-E, at sampsoncc.edu. Or you can contact me in social service, um, excuse me, student services at 592-8084, um, extension 2017. Okay. So, Perry, thank you so much yes, for joining sir. me today. Thank it's you. Been, uh, it's been fun visiting yes, with sir. you. And thank you for all the great things you're doing for Sampson Community College throughout Sampson County at all of our high schools. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the President's Corner, and we'll look forward to seeing you again next month.